But you know, inflation is hitting Americans' wallets really hard. And on top of that rise in prices, interest rates for traditional savings accounts remain low, and that makes it hard for your savings to keep up. Here's Rena Roy with more. Inflation is sky high right now. And if you have your money parked in a traditional savings account earning, let's be honest, nothing per cent, the fact is you are losing money. CNET Money's Farnoosh Tarabi says the value of how far your dollar can stretch is diminishing as it sits in that plain vanilla savings account. If you had a dollar in a bank account last year and you saved it and now with inflation hovering over 8%, that dollar is actually worth closer to 92 Typically, when the Federal Reserve raises interest rates, savings rates also increase. So while we have seen mortgages, personal loans, credit cards increase as far as APR and interest rates, we haven't seen the same sort of upward movement in the savings landscape. Tarabi has a few tips on how you can make the most of your savings right now. Number one, compare interest rates at digital banks. There are a lot of digital competitors right now vying for our savings dollars, and many of them do offer better than average savings rates. Tip number two, look for sign-up bonuses. If you're a new customer, they may offer you a welcome sign-on bonus, giving you an immediate boost to your savings account. Tip number three, if you don't need your savings right away, consider I-bonds. So I-bonds are government-backed securities. They adjust twice a year to mimic where inflation is. And right now, I-bonds are earning well over 9%. When deciding if I-bonds are right for you, keep in mind you can't touch that money for a minimum of one year. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York.